Welcome to Colombia! Yay! Famous for Shakira, coffee, but yeah, this beautiful country is hot and humid and our first stop in Colombia is the city of Cartagena. Cartagena. Behind us we've got the old town walls, we're going to go inside, have a little explore. Um, it is actually rainy season, so I know it looks really sunny, but we are not expecting this sun to hang around here. We're probably going to get rain done. <laughs> I've just spent the last five, ten minutes trying to defog the lens, <laughs> and even the inner lens, which I can't get to, is like fogged up. So I hope you can see us okay. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. Although it's crazy hot, don't be fooled. It could just chuck it down with rain any second because we are right in the middle of the rainy season. We've got a few <laughs> days to explore this beautiful city before we head off, so let's go. Let's go inside. There's a tropical storm apparently coming tonight, yeah. so let's get this video done before that arrives. Yeah. <laughs> get inside, just Nothing like a bit of jeopardy. <laughs> Cartagena's old city is its main attraction, and the history of this city is quite fascinating. Cartagena was the first Spanish colony in the Americas, and its location on the Caribbean Sea made it a vitally important port city. From here, the conquerors shipped the treasures they had stolen from the native cultures back to Spain and at the same time imported slaves from Africa, earning this city the title of the largest slave port in the Americas. The walled section was built in order to defend the city and its wealth of stolen goods from pirates, which as we all know were famously prevalent in the Caribbean. The city remained under Spanish rule for around 275 years. Cartagena led the charge for breaking free from Spain, declaring its independence before the rest of the country on November the 11th, 1811, with the help of the great liberator Simon Bolivar who famously led the liberation of six Latin American countries, including Colombia, Venezuela, Ecuador, Peru, Panama, and Bolivia. Cartagena's old city was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1984 and is one of the finest examples of preserved colonial architecture in the Americas, packed with churches, monasteries, plazas, palaces, and mansions with their famous overhanging balconies and shady patios. The best way to experience the old town is to wander in leisurely fashion which is exactly what we did here, just taking in the architectural details, street life and tasty food along the way. We walked in through some of the main streets which has got to be said are pretty busy and you do get hounded yeah. as soon as you come in. There's people trying to sell you agua, cerveza, <laughs> lemonade. It's necessary. He's like <laughs> How are you walking away? You need, you need some. Anyway, we're now in one of the main squares outside one of the main cathedrals, which is called Santuario de San Pedro Clava. Oh, well done. And it's beautiful, like very, very South American. It feels very South American here. Yeah, and we found a little quiet spot and made a plan. We just went to the tourist information place and done the classic tourist thing and decided it's really hot here. We've been in cold temperature for months and months. Now we've hit 30 degree Colombian heat and so we thought let's get a bus bus tour around this place. <laughs> so yeah we did the classic city sightseeing bus tour. We're going to spend a few days seeing the sights from the bus and we've also got tickets to go into one of those famous uh, Castillos, San Felipe Castillo while we're here. So yeah we're just going to enjoy being here in the old town, hopping on and off the bus, especially we figured it's hot so it's nice to cool down, but also if it tips down with rain, we're going to run on that bus <laughs> <laughs> to keep dry. So yeah, that's but, our yeah. plan. <laughs> I think we're going to go and get some food now, but we're just going to enjoy San Pedro Square for a few minutes. You can see there's all these little metal sculptures and there's also these uh, traditional Colombian women walking around in traditional Colombian dress and also there's lots of pigeons. <laughs> Always lots of pigeons. But yeah, we're going to hopefully find somewhere to grab some lunch with a view of the Caribbean Sea, hopefully. <laughs> but have a look at all the colonial style buildings. They're so beautiful with those little balconies. Craig and Kirsty, a couple who have been on the road for the past three years sharing our adventures around the world. Right now we're making our way through South America and exploring everything it has to offer. If you enjoy seeing new places and real experiences, please subscribe and welcome to the adventures of Tide Not Travellers. Never repeat. <laughs> and you know my boss. <laughs>
listen to me She's most beautiful like the Lina Oh my god, no shoes, but it's good She is the queen in my name for good I will go for you as a beautiful blonde You know what I guess Hey bro <laughs> Here it is, that didn't take long. <laughs> no sooner were we being serenaded. In the sun. We're now being showered in... Showered? <laughs> water, rather than music. <laughs> Let's hope it passes quickly. All the pigeons flew away. Everyone's grabbing all their stuff and packing it away. And we're going to go inside somewhere and get some food. Yeah, maybe we sit inside, not outside now. <laughs> We've escaped the rain and found ourselves a little lunch spot. <laughs> it's crazy out there. I found a place called Niku and I think it's like all Japanese food and it looks really good so yeah. The menu looks great, look at this. Edaman beans. <laughs> For this. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> but mainly, do you escape this? I told you it was rainy season. <laughs> <laughs> So after getting downpoured on, we found a beautiful Japanese steak restaurant called Niku and we've just ordered our food, it's just arrived and it smells and looks incredible. I've got some edamame beans and they've got like a sauce over them, I'm not sure what it is but I'm excited to find out. This is just our starter. And I got some uh, chicken gyozos and they look like little empanadas um, but I can't wait to tuck in. Good way to duck out the rain. <laughs> Hopefully that'll be the only shower we get today and then we're going to get on the bus and the sightseeing. We came in here, sat down and five minutes later the rain stopped and the sun's come back out. And the mains have just arrived and they look amazing. I've got like a vegetable rice and it's got like a tempura vegetable on top, a fried egg and some crispy salty looking chickpeas. Yum, it looks so good. And I've got some coconut rice, I think there's some uh, crispy bacon on there and also some shrimps and a small steak on top. So, looks amazing. <laughs> Yeah, which grassy. That was so good. If you come to Cartagena, make sure you go to Niku restaurant. No word of a lie, that was one of the best meals we've had in South America. Yeah, today was already a good day and then going to Niku for lunch just to get from here to here. And now we're back out in the sunshine. <laughs> Rainstorm's gone, long? for yeah. now. <laughs> yeah, we don't know how long for, but either way, we're gonna head off. Yeah, we're gonna head over to the Castillo now. Let's go, back out the clock tower gate. Yeah. <laughs> just arrived outside the Castillo and there's a big line behind me, I don't know if you can see. Thankfully, because we stopped at the tourist office earlier, we already bought our tickets, so that saves us a line. That was just a happy accident, we didn't plan that. There's a little tip for you there, if you're going to come here, buy tickets at the tourist office, the price is the same, but you're going to dodge any big lines here. So, Craig's just getting his bag checked by security, and then we go in. Okay, uh, there is a boy that has to call and enter your QR. And we're in. And we have made it up to the viewpoint on the 16th century San Felipe Castillo and it's known for having loads of tunnels which we're going to go in and cool off in a bit because it was hot walking up here but my favourite thing about it is the panoramic views over there you've got the skyscrapers, the new city and you can see the old city over there which is where we started this morning and then look at this awesome big Columbia flag Craig loves a flag so he's pretty happy with that <laughs> let's go explore Oh, nice and breezy in here. <laughs> I like this spot. The bees and a cross breeze and escaping tourists. <laughs> I can see the Caribbean. Take me to an island. <laughs> The process for getting in here wasn't that smooth to be honest. We bought the tickets from the old town of Cartagena from one of the tourist information places. They were 27,000 pesos per person and then we walked over here, uh, we arrived at the gate and then the lady said you need to see the boy. 
<laughs> which I had no idea what that meant. She had no idea what she said. She pointed across the road. So eventually we understood where and what she meant. We went over there and there was a guy with the city sightseeing company who changed our tickets for another ticket to get in here. Came true. over, helped us in and then, yeah, we came in. But yeah. yeah. But we did get to skip the queue, but to be honest, I don't think it saved that much time by the time you've done the faff of going over the road, getting the boy. <laughs> I'm coming back. He didn't even have a name or like a company, it's just the boy. Yeah. Into the tunnels we go. Oh my gosh, like with the window thing. Oh. There's voices coming from everywhere. As well. The San Felipe Castle is the most famous landmark in Cartagena and another must visit place during a trip to this city. It was built by African slave labour under Spanish supervision way back in 1536 as another means to protect the city from those pesky treasure-stealing pirates. The San Felipe Castle is said to be the most impregnable fortress ever built by the Spanish in the Americas and its strategic position on top of the hill of San Nazaro makes for beautiful views across the city of Cartagena. We've made our way up to the highest part of the Castillo and the views from here are surely the best views in Cartagena. <laughs> it's also the busiest views in Cartagena, I've yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got to say. Yeah, it's such a tourist. You know, this is like the number one thing to do in Cartagena, other than obviously go to the islands. <laughs> or go to the, the old beaches, town. Which is what we're going to do. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think we're going to go and get an ice cream now. We bought ourselves a bus tour ticket as well, so we're going to go and grab the bus and in the next chill. half an hour and just go and see the sights as the sun goes down. Yeah, let the bus do it for us because we are melting in this heat. come out of the Castillo and we've got ourselves some ice creams. There's loads of people waiting to sell you an ice cream outside, so don't worry about <laughs> trying to find one. What about we... how quick they melt though? <laughs> <laughs> they are so refreshing. Lemonade and coconut. Oh, how good is that? Could it get any more tropical than this? <laughs> We've got about 10 minutes till our bus, so we figure it's a good, good way to spend 10 minutes. That's it. We're finally on the bus, it's really good to see the Castillo. You probably only need about one hour to an hour and a half going around the Castillo. We do love that, but I don't want to do one hour. Always does with this. We're on our way around to do a full circuit of Cartagena on the city sightseeing, and uh, I'm going to watch the sun go down as we do it. Sunset from the rooftop of the bus. <laughs> so happy to be sat down. Yeah, and it's nice cool there. After a lot of walking, we were thankful to be seated on the bus for a nice relaxing tour to show us a few places we hadn't seen yet. The bus route takes in all the main areas of Cartagena, so it's a great way to get around without wearing yourself out. Another advantage to this type of tour is that it's a very safe way to travel around, especially as the day turned to night. We personally didn't have any problems during our stay in Cartagena, aside from a few people offering various drugs outside the walled city, but we didn't ever feel in any danger while sticking to the tourist areas. The city really is divided into two halves, with the modern Miami-esque hotels and architecture built around the bay on this side being a complete contrast to the historical walled city that we'd spent all morning exploring. It's hard to believe we're in the same place. It's a nice chill for an hour or so, yeah. just going around Cartagena, seeing all the sights. Seeing the new town with all the skyscrapers and the shopping mall and everything looked really different to the old town vibes. It's kind of like, it feels a lot like Miami over on that side. And then coming here feels more like European because you've got the old town, kind of like Dubrovnik. Um, but yeah, it's really cool. And we're going to head back into the old town. So we want to look at some trips to book yes. and uh, show you a couple more things while we're in there. And hopefully, head out to some nice Caribbean islands very soon. So we've just come and sat outside the main cathedral called Cathedral Santa Catalina. 
because every night there's some performances, so we're just going to sit and watch this. And as always, there's plenty of people going up and down selling drinks, so you can buy yourself a Coke, which I've already drank, or a beer, or anything to enjoy the show with. Pretty nice. <laughs> We saw this same performance that's about to happen outside the main gate last night that's about to perform now. Let's check it out. Thumbs up and subscribe so you can see what's coming up. Our next event is here in Cartagena.